Misery Love Company. I, I want to inform you, your area code, we don't want to live in misery. We're not going to live in it. Hey, everybody. Hey, y'all. How we doing? Listen, um, I told Don I wanted to have, this look dark to you, babe. I told Donna I wanted to have a conversation with you all. Um, a few, Why? well, a few comments that we had um, pertaining to confusion or lack of lack of information. Now I know in these type things you don't have to explain to nobody anything with your life. You can choose to just move on with it, um, go from there. But I was explaining to her because of the platform that she has. You guys invest a lot of time into our lives. Y'all look at the growth. You look at the. You're able to see the ups, the downs, the highs, the lows, and we're able to go with. You're able to go with us where we're going, wherever we're going. You guys decide to go with us. But sometimes there are questions that's asked, and I feel it needs to be addressed. I no, we don't have to, but I think you deserve that right now. As long as it's acts responsible, or um, acts respectfully. That's what I'm saying. Respectfully. I don't have a problem in addressing or answering a question. Now, Donna's latest series, she's been dealing with um, our home away from home. So dealing with our home away from home, um, a couple of questions are asked. Um, some are genuine, genuine and heartfelt. They want to know, what do you do if you don't have a home away from home? How do you be intentional when all you have is what you have? Let's deal with the obvious right now, okay? This is a challenging time. And I want to address this issue up front because at the end, I'm going to address an issue one last time. <laughs> okay. Uh, everybody know me. I'm a loving guy. I love people. I have fun. But I will. I will go into protect more from my wife. I will do that. Okay. Now, I am... This is her channel. She does a lot of the reading. She doesn't whine about anything. But what I do is I watch. I watch. So she reads a lot of the comments, good, bad, ugly. She reads them. She knows how to handle them well. Sometimes she may bite. Sometimes she just let it ride. Sometimes she'll talk with me about a thing. But nevertheless, dealing with um, one of the questions, uh, several questions, but one of the questions that was asked is, what do you do when you don't have a home away from home? How do you get intentional with just where you are? Because we're on this journey with being intentional with one another. And that is the same. As empty nesters. As empty nesters. And you're going to have to work. Uh, you're going to have to work to make this happen. Nothing comes easy. Um, you have to try new things. It might work. Some things may work. Some things may not work. But work within, you want to work within the resources that you have. The worst thing to do is make a bigger problem trying to... Don't make a problem of a size 10 when you're trying to work on one that's a four or five, okay? That's one thing you're gonna have to do. So um, to those that you're very limited in resources and where you are, I would say the time's gonna have this one another. Let one another know how much you appreciate one another right where you're at. There is nothing worse. The responsibility goes both ways. There's nothing worse speaking as a man. There's nothing worse for a man than to see in his wife really desiring or struggling, and there's nothing he can do. There's only so much a man can work, okay? There's only so much he's going to be able to put in hours of work. The body has to rest. And when there's no finish line, you tend to quit in life. So if it's one of those situations you're drowning in bills, you come up with a plan. I don't care if you um, there are places you can go where there's free counseling. And I say that because the number one destroyer of marriages that we have found out is finances. But finances does not fix anything because there's marriages that have every finance um, available to them, every piece of finance available to them, and it still crashes. So being intentional is about not about just having money and can buy this or buy that. That, that has very little to nothing to do with it. You hear women cry all the time with a man trying to buy them this or buy them that to make them happy. They're saying they're wanting time. I want time. So that comes, um, a lot of work comes with that. And so that's um, prioritizing. Sitting aside some of these things to make sure she has this thing or he has this thing. So to you that do not have access or 
feel like I'm very limited in my resources, do what you can with one another. Even if it's turning the TV off at 8 o'clock. We're just going to, or either we're going to look at a movie at 8 o'clock together. That's the way of starting right where you are. There was a thing my wife used to say with her child. She used to say, well, you start where you are, use what you have, do what you can. So what you do is the only thing you have, do that, laughing, because we can share sometimes we really went through some really rough times. And we were, I recall one time we were laying at the bottom of the bed and just singing about the financial challenges that we had. Look, laughter. Laughter changes a lot of things. This is just a moment in time. This is not all of your life. It's just a moment in time. So to you that um, saying your resources are very limited, what can I do to be more intentional? Well, what you're going to do with that is just spend time with one another. Make, uh, make time. And it's, even the single people that aren't married, yeah, that's a, make time for yourselves. Um, and we oftentimes talk about uh, self-care and putting yourself first. Just do more things, you know, that you want to do for you. Because a lot of... I, there were some comments about, well, what about the single people you guys are talking about? Those who are married, what about us who are single? And so that, that definitely is um, a thing that I guess to look at the two in a marriage. In single, you have you. You can do you. But in marriage, you lose yourself. You can easily lose yourself in marriage. Catering to be it, especially have children, right? Catering to children, catering to work, catering to your spouse, catering to the things that uh, care that needs to happen at home. So you can lose one another there, and that's why I speak more to families. I'm gonna say to marriages as or couples, if you will, as opposed to um, um, a single person, because a single person, every you can do what you want to do. You can go when you want to go. You can stop when you want to stop. You don't have to fight over um, what you're going to look at on TV. That really does matter, what we're going to watch on TV. And so the things, uh, the things of that, that's why I address towards married couples or um, towards a unit, couple, whoever you may be, however you may be, um, to be able to think about the other and how do you spend time or make time in your life for that other person. Um, making sure that you don't lose one another at the same time, balancing, keeping yourself yeah, keeping yourself and things of that sort. So that's the things I'll address with that. So just quickly, I can touch um, touch that. That's what you should do there. Now, another thing that was asked, um, a person with, we lost a few things. Uh, I think that was said, we lost a few things, episodes. What happened? We um, missed some episodes. We missed a few. As, and we'll, I will put the card here for our very first video about um, what we were talking about, creating a home away from home, um, Losing one another when life goes on or something like that. So I'll put a card here so you can go back to that video and then you can get caught up. Right. We just don't need to address all that. We've done a video. Just... Now, so another one I'm going to address, the elephant in the room. Many people will say, well, you know, y'all talking about uh, I'm a second home or home away from home. And you got people that, that are starving and uh, homeless. and homeless. What, what? Okay, I'm not negating that nor denying that. That is a truth in life. But thank God that's not where I'm at. That's not where we're at. You don't stop living because someone else has a hard time. In that case, even if you can drink a bottle of water, what do you do about the people on the other side of the world that's you know that's dying of thirst or starving to death? For every sandwich you eat, you can then say, well, why should I eat this sandwich when this person over here is starving? That's always going to be a part of life. Always. I know what it's like. We have been there when you have had foreclosures and pushed out of your house. We've been there with lights, you know, when, when you wonder how you're going to keep everything on. We've been there when you had to leave, you know, where you are, the, uh, find a place to lay your head for your kids and your spouse. So we've been there. Now, let me make this clear. In the midst of all of this, be it um, a couple, a single, a couple, um, dealing with any of it, our basis, our base, and our foundation was the Lord Jesus the Christ. He was the one who kept us in the midst of it all. When it was too much pressure for me to handle, it was him that was a prop around me or stabilizers around me to keep me up. So I just want to say that. Now, I'm not knocking who, whosoever you choose to worship. That's your business. 
That's your business. Whatsoever way you choose to go or your, um, your support system, that's fine. I'm saying for us, our support system, our foundation is the Lord Jesus, the Christ. And so from him, many times I went to him and cried to him and, and pleaded with him. Pleaded with him. And Lord, just I, I wasn't asking for anything spectacular, but he helped me through it. So I needed to address that issue. That's my foundation. That's my base. Because when we had nothing or if you have everything, it doesn't matter. We're the same people. We're the same people. We never look at ourselves better than anyone. Um, think we're better than anyone in any way, form, or fashion. Matter of fact, if you run into us, we people don't know what we have because you just never know it. We don't show every little thing because we do know that there are people that are, sh are really struggling, um, shortcoming in things, and it can look very, um, the word I'm looking for, you're just not sympathetic as to where people are and what they're facing. So they're um, addressing that. So yes, there's always going to be people that's not going to have. So if you see a short thing of this sort, if we're out to a place to eat or things of that sort, you guys know us. Went to fancy restaurants and that just was not me. That's just not us. My wife, she's happy. She's okay with Burger King, getting her a Whopper Jr. and Dario's. So she's happy with that. I'm not one of these ones that um, need a name brand this or that to make me. As you've heard me say, clothes don't make you who you are. Clothes just reveal to people who you really are. So you don't have to have that in order to say you, or if you do not have that. that. But if you do have it, there's nothing wrong. If you can afford a car with a certain emblem on the front, if you can afford it, well, get it. If that's what you want. That's what everybody is sitting and looking can afford one. But if you can't afford it, don't get in one. Because there's a lot of stuff come with that car with an emblem on the front that you can't afford. Like taxes at the end of the year. Like maintenance that takes place with it. You know. So that is addressed there. Now I want to address this issue far as us with our home away from home. And I yeah, and being intentional with one another. Here's what three things, guys, where I really feel like um, this was necessary for us. Okay, necessary for us. Keyboard, us. Us. So, one, y'all know my wife does a lot of cooking in her videos. She had already, she was talking about, you know, space in the house, um, a new look, um, kitchen, more room for her to be able to do what she does. Upgrade. upgrade. She wanted to upgrade her kitchen. That's what she wanted to do. So, what um, this one affords her that. She's able to have a new look at the kitchen where she's able to do her videos with the space she needs. Many of content creators have um, studio um, places that they may go to do what they do. No, we don't. So we decided to get a three in one out of what we're doing. So one, that addressed that issue. You'll begin to see her do a lot of her meals and things right here from her kitchen. I'm which calling it my studio kitchen. Her studio kitchen then. So it gives her the space to be able to do that. That's one. Two, what you have here is... um. I was beginning to make this, our, well, I'm making the statement, and I was telling Dharma, in dealing with this, it just escaped me, eluded me. What was it? It was one, studio kitchen, two, uh, you got that. No, ah, it was more, oh. It got away from me. I, think, I know because you were talking about, like, some people do the timeshares. Right. And you, it's one that would do, um, if they would do timeshares, um, which is, I, I, I'm not going to knock a person for what they do. It makes no sense to me because a timeshare, when you want to go to your your place, you can't um, go to your place because somebody else has already booked it. So if I'm going to pay for something, well, let me have access to it when I want to have access to it. So we chose not a timeshare. Um, although they may say, well, you got to keep up, well, you got to pay maintenance fees for a timeshare, even if you have one of those, and you're locked into those, you say you're locked into it, and getting out of it is, I've heard, is a nightmare. So that's one thing um, we decided. No, I don't want to pay for something that I can't use when I want to use it. And this will be great to use. Now, people say, are you, did you move closer to where you'll be near your family? No, not, not, so, not necessarily. It's not about family, it's about us. Sometimes you come into a place. And you just have that feel of, okay, just let me relax. Let me just let my hair down and relax. I don't have to worry about this, that. You can just let it go sometimes when you're at a hotel. You can just forget about it and let it go. Listen, you work hard for what you have. We do. We work hard every day. 
Um, we do not spend our money frivolously. I many times say people do not have money problems. They have management problems. They don't manage properly what they have. And I'm not accusing anyone of that. I'm saying we are very, very wise with the use of our money. Um, one thing we will not do, we're not trying to impress no one if we have it. That's because we can afford it. Because the worst thing you can be into is that state of you're working, um, you're constantly behind the eight ball and you're trying to impress people and your money is just draining. The money is gone before you get it. So, no, that's not what we try to do. The so, thing you do with that money is honor. Uh, honor. That's just us. Again, mm -hmm. we are believers. What we do is we set aside um, God's um, portion, which he says, tithe, and then we give offering. Give it. I've seen it. First, it works. First fruit. It works. I have seen... I have seen people that make a lot of money. I've seen the people that make a lot of money. And we're not on a guard. And it's like a hold in their pockets. In the scriptures, it talks about you're looking at the canker worm. The palm worm, worm, right. Exactly. And so that God addressed it. Um, the word of God uh, clearly lets us know that if you're just on a guard, do what you say. You're going to lose some things. Not saying if you were one that um, follow the Lord Jesus, that everything is going to go well. It's not. You may not get problems until real problems until you decide to follow him. So I told, I've said it and will continue saying it. The devil is like a jealous, a jealous um, ex. The moment you're moving on, he wants to do everything. Give me back everything that's mine. And so he come after you. But honor God, that's what we do. And one thing we have found out, everything that the canker worm, the palmer worm, the caterpillar, and the locust has eaten, God has restored it. Now let me address this issue right here with my wife. This woman has gone through, you know, with life. When she came into my life, um, right at the beginning, Right at the beginning, getting ready to get married, I was in a pretty bad accident. And she pretty much had to stop her job, quit her job, to take care of me. So she'd been there and, and just watching everything in life where you can do nothing. Where they're all over you with cameras to watch you, to make sure you can do nothing. And she stayed there with me through the midst of it all. And never once um, made me feel like less than so, and I can go into much deeper than that, but she was there with me and for me all the way through. And as we came out of it, even with the settlement, it was nowhere near what um, a person thought, as, as I was told by my lawyer at the time, that if this was a corporation, you would be a rich man now. But nevertheless, it's not that. God knows. And so we was able to take care of a few things, clear up bills and things of that sort. So I said all that to say this. My wife has been with me through it already. She has suffered and sacrifice all her life for things we have. Now that um, things have loosened up some, the babies are raised and they're gone. They're doing well with life. Thank you, Jesus. Um, everything is, um, as we do with work, taken care of through life. Um, she was very, very frugal in the way she handled things. Um, not cheap, but she's not going to pay over here um, $700 where you can get the same thing over here for 300 so what she did um, is took care of finances and handled things and made sure our name stayed great very good credit um, things of that sort so she she gave 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 now that life has loosened up a little bit for us now that it has loosened up for us I have no problem giving her whatever she wants let me make this clear so everybody is able to understand what I'm saying here now maybe you don't like it if she purchased this or purchased that. Some people out there just hate to see anyone advance forward with anything. Yet, if we're here posting about we lost everything and we was burned out and we have nothing, you would enjoy every minute of it. Misery love company. I, I want to inform you, your area code, we don't want to live in misery. We're not going to live in it. So, what she has is now that she is able to be there and have a few things, baby, get whatever you want. If it makes you feel good, you like it, you get it. I don't have a problem with it at all. She's not one of those people that try to blingy in people's face or make you feel less than. But if it's something she sees that she wants. I was even hesitant about doing this series because of... Right. So, now, now let me make it clear. For every one person that may complain, you have... I mean, God... Yeah. God knows how many say, hey, Miss Donna, we want to be feeling you going on the ride with us and you enjoying every minute. several of our family members that are so happy about this journey and they are excited to take this journey with us. Yeah, and so those are the things that we, uh, we are looking at. So I'm saying, as far as my wife, whatever she wants, 
whatever she wants. As long as it's in the realm of affordability, she can have it. She was with me. She stuck with me when there was nothing and never made me feel less than. And now that I have, I have no problem. And she works too, like a Hebrew. So let me make sure you're clear with that. She works very hard, very, very hard at what she does to make sure she does it in excellence and making sure she does this thing um, and more than uh, not one that takes out, but puts in. But you have some men, as I say, where they're broker than the Ten Commandments in Las Vegas. And you have those men. But then as life goes on and they get better and the woman is with their, they're with them all the way through, now all of a sudden he got to the top. I ain't want to dump her on the side for some little, some little fake trophy they don't put together. No. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Good, bad, and ugly. I'm right here with my wife. There's nothing else that I'm, I'm interested in, curious in, looking over, looking at, looking in. Not even interested in. I'm good. Everything I need, I got it in my house. I'm a happy man. I'm a happy man. So I just want to make sure I address that issue with you guys. So to you all that's wondering, like I said, there's, um, she's able to get the kitchen that that she needs to do what she needs to do. Um, it's also this space that we need, um, a space that we need to get away, to be able to get away from it all, but still be close to it all, to be able to take care of the things that need to be taken care of with the home and the things of that sort. And so, and again, there's, go ahead. I'm sorry, somebody also made the comment about being a pastor, what kind of message are you sending? Oh, and let me make clear of this. Thank you to that question. Whoever asked that question, thank you for that question. That's a very neat question because so many pastors will take um, take their um, take and live off of the church, suck all of the resources from the church, and live with with fine shoes that may be a thousand dollars or twelve hundred dollars for some shoes. And people in the congregation are struggling. Let me tell you this. Let me tell you this. That's not our boat, baby. I've never disrespected God or God's people that way. Let me tell you, yeah, church ain't paying for them. Not, we give more than we get. So I just want to make sure you understand that. We are givers. If, if we could have the, well, trust me, I'll stand before Almighty God that sits on his throne in heaven and say this without blinking. Even putting my kids' life before God and say, if I'm lying, take them. That no, no, I mean business when it comes to this. We don't play with God, God's people, or God's money. So no, none of this is being ciphered from the church and doing this. No, I work hard. My work, my wife works hard to get everything we have. We are givers. And I promise you, if the financial person at the church would say, no, 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 they give us. They give us. A pastor should be a leader. A pastor should be a leader. Not one that's following us. So, no. I'm not one of them that... Again, I'm not one, I'm not knocking. I'm not one of them that's going from church to church to speak so I can get an offering. I, I don't even know what the income at the church, what, what the offering is. The only thing I tell them is, let me know if we fall short from what we need. I make up the rear. But God has been good. The saints, the saints are good. Everybody's good. The kill, the church is taking care of. Full time job. Full time plus. Job. Full time plus. Get a W 2. <laughs> <laughs> yes. So I just want you guys to understand that and know that. I just want to address that issue and dealing with it from there. And, um, the last time. Yeah, for the last time. That's the very last time. I, I felt like you guys deserved that because the questions was asked. People genuinely want to know. But a few people, you know, sprinkled in. Oh, why are you going to get this? Well, you know, you have two legs. God bless you with two legs. Why you keep walking around here when there's crippled people? So in that case, if you're going to think in that term, because some don't have, they say you shouldn't have. No, um, that's what make an economy go around. You have and then you don't have. If we lose everything tomorrow, still don't make me any less or any better. You guys will go on a journey with us there. I mean, since you're here, then that's why you see me. Um, that's why I'm here today addressing the issue because we have brought you in and you're seeing things that are taking place. Well, you might as well, you know, um, you deserve um, some sort to your question. You deserve some sort of answers. So I hope that answers your questions. I really do. I hope it answers your questions. So. And I've been very mindful and intentional 
about trying not to say too much in this video, but I will say this for anybody that has questions, comments, or concerns. You don't know the cost of the oil in my alabaster box. There are people struggling. We've been there. We try to be nice. It gets better. Yeah, Just yes. breathe in, breathe out, go forward. It gets better. And keep honoring God in the midst of it. As you go, as you are going through, continue to honor God. And sometimes you're not going to understand why He would allow certain things. It's not my job to understand what He what He allows. All I know is what He promised me. He gave me His word that He would not allow me to be tempted above what I'm able to handle. That's what he gave me. My job is to make sure that I'm not putting anything on myself. I can't say God does not want me to be tempted more than I can, more than I can handle. But God ain't going to put more on me than I can bear. And then I go do some things that God tell me clearly not to do. And then it crushes me. And I'm like, God, why you let this crush me? No, you was hard-headed. That's what crushed you. So the safest thing to do is stay, stay in obedience. Stay in obedience. And the rest, you leave it up to God. The rest, you leave it up to him. That's just my family's journey. So we've been there, we've seen ugly, <laughs> we've seen without, we've seen we've put seen out. Lack. Yeah, we've seen lack, we've seen it, we've seen it. But all of our friends lack. will tell you yes. in the midst of, now we didn't look like nothing broke down, tore up, now we didn't fake nothing. We didn't look like what we were yeah. going We had no idea, people had no idea so many times what we were facing. No, we didn't fake it. Like we, when it got these clothes, I've never been that person. I care less. Yeah, they need a brand or something. They need a name. To make this, I gotta have this name. I gotta have that name. I mean, that's just not never been that person with me. So that's for me. I, I hope, I pray that this was enough to say, okay, now we understand. So that's and the if, reason. And if they don't understand, oh, sorry. Oh well, sorry. Can't make everybody happy. So and we're not trying to. Yeah. And so that's the thing that we have there, guys. I appreciate you guys. Appreciate your time. I hope this was not too long, but I just wanted to address an issue to it. And I'm not going to address the issue anymore. That's done. That's our reasoning. You know, some get a timeshare. Some get a vacation home. Some, you know, fly out to Paris or whatever. No, we're good. We're good. Anything you want to say? We're good. All right, you guys. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. If you've not subscribed, hit the nosy. Please consider doing so by turning on that notification bell. That says hit the nosy. That way you'll be notified whenever we're doing whatever it is we're doing. And just in case we're doing something that you're not interested in, please feel free to <laughs> click off or just keep scrolling. And check my bill is later on. It might be something yeah, that you're interested maybe in. Something else that you're interested maybe something in. else that you're interested in. You just say, well, this right here don't fit me. Okay, well, we understand. All we ask is that you be respectful. If not, then, um, We'll take care of it. You're going to time out? <laughs> You're going to time we out will here? take care we'll of it. We'll put you in time out on this, this channel right here. So if you don't listen to time out, then we would evict you. Yeah. So. But, hey, but we do. We appreciate our YouTube family. We appreciate all of your support. And thank you guys so much for watching. We already look forward to you joining us again next time. And I guess we will get back to our regularly regularly scheduled regularly, regularly <laughs> scheduled program bye